wide, even wide. Congratulations. Good morning, Corporal. Good morning, sir.
Move to the right in threes. Right! Ten! The parade will march past in quick time. By the left! Quick march!
open order. Rise! Dash! Stand still! No front rock! Right! The parade will advance in review order by the center. Quick march! <laughs> to this very, very auspicious day. Uh, I'd like to personally thank uh, the commanding officer of the Army Training Regiment, Herb Wright, Lieutenant Colonel David Greenwood, who's uh, on my left here, for allowing me the privilege, and I do take this as a very rare privilege, of being the inspecting officer for today's Pass Out Parade. And I hope you'll all agree um, and those who are, who are behind me, that it is a parade to remember. I'd like to start my short address by turning, if I may, to address the families, the friends, and the husbands and wives who are behind me at the moment. And firstly to say thank you very much for coming along today. It is absolutely fabulous to see uh, such a full uh, turnout and to see so many of you today supporting your sons, your daughters, your husbands and wives, and your boyfriends and girlfriends uh, on this parade today, on this extremely important occasion. But most of all, I'd like, if I may, to, uh, to extend those thanks, um, to thank you uh, in advance, and to thank you for uh, the future support that I hope you will still be able uh, to give us uh, in the army because we base everything we do uh, on our families and in many ways as well as the uh, ladies and gentlemen on parade today you join us in the army as well we need you and we rely on your support throughout everything that we do and i'd like to thank you not only for being here today but to thank you for the loyalty the support and forbearance uh, that you continue to show us thank you very much uh, I'd also like to thank the band of the Irish Guards for the excellent music that we've enjoyed this morning, for the dash and the land that they've added and always add to our parades, and in particular today for adding that something special to mark the auspicious occasion. Thank you very much. And I'd also, if I may, um, perhaps on behalf of the um, recruits on parade, uh, to turn for a moment to thank the directing staff, uh, the teachers and the instructors um, who are here today, not only those of you that are on parade, but those who are sitting behind me and that those might be elsewhere working in and around the training regiment at the moment. Those ladies and gentlemen who have been specifically selected to do this job uh, because of their competence, their leadership um, and their command authority. And one day, you ladies and gentlemen on parade, I hope, in the not too distant future, may likewise be selected uh, to do that very special job. Uh, but for the moment, my thanks for the dedication, professionalism and hard work of the staff here, 
The recruits would not have got here had it not been for you. So well done and please keep up the very, very good work. We do appreciate it. Thank you. I turn now, um, if I may, um, to address the recruits, the ladies and gentlemen on parade, because today is your day. I congratulate you on passing out. It marks an achievement which has been established by a long history and tradition within the British Army. And I also commend you for passing the course. It's a demanding course, both mentally and physically, and it's deliberately so. But you've done that, and I commend you for the professionalism that you've shown today, your impeccable turnout and bearing on parade. You marched onto this parade as recruits, and as you stand and I address you now, you are recruits. But bear in mind, ladies and gentlemen on parade, that when you march off of this parade square, you are professional soldiers in the most highly regarded army in the world, the British Army. It is a proud and historic moment, and you deserve to hold your heads very, very high. You go next, after your specialist trade training, to join your regiments and battalions, each with a long and distinguished history of British Army service to the realm. And in terms of your way of life and the way you go about things in the future, you will no longer play as individuals. You're part of a team, and of course teamwork is the very key to the success of the British Army. And there are three principles uh, that I take advantage of this opportunity to pass on to you and ask you to remember. I limited it at three, firstly because I'm a simple soul myself, uh, but also because it's easier to remember. Three points. Always put your comrades first before yourselves. That is a hallmark of leadership. Secondly, always give your fullest commitment. And thirdly, take a pride in everything that you do from now on. Because whether you're in uniform or whether you're out of uniform, you now represent your regiments and your cause hereafter. After the training, and after your trade training, you have and I've discussed it with a number of ladies and gentlemen on parade today, a very exciting future ahead of you. Bosnia, Kosovo, Macedonia, Northern Ireland, Cyprus, Germany, Africa, and if you watch the news, who knows where next. But wherever those theatres are, the British Army's contribution is held in the very highest of esteem. And in those operational theatres, if and when you find yourselves there, you will be doing a very real and critical job and I wish you all the very best of luck for that future. But there will be other opportunities, opportunities for career progression uh, and for further trade training. And if you're lucky and you should take advantage of this sport, all the sport that you can fit in, adventurous training and all of the uh, canoeing, climbing, uh, sub-aqua and skiing that hopefully you'll be able to participate in. Those await you and I would, I would urge you to take advantage of them whenever that you can because it is a life of variety and fulfilment and most of all it's to be enjoyed. I want to close if I may by once again congratulating you all on this very important day and to wish you and your families all the very best of luck for the future. Thank you very much. Oh,
Boys who form a single rank. Boys, that's centre. Quick march. Front, right, front, right, front, right, front, right, front, yeah. Prize winners of the Cato Group 59 Aston Battery Royal Artillery are the best shot, Gunner Ingham, the Royal Regiment of Artillery. Sir! Physical training is awarded to Gunnar Mori, the Royal Regiment of Artillery. Sir! Price of the most improved recruit is awarded to Gunnar Mitchell of the Royal Regiment of Artillery. The best at drill and the best overall recruit is awarded to Private Matanitawaki of the Royal Logistic Corps. So Yeah. 
you for that being one of your aspirations. Listen, it's a good thing to get for. So, many, many congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that. For the moment, well done. Prize winners for Alamein Platoon, Rocop Company, Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers are best shot, the Gunner Smith, the Royal Regiment of Artillery. Two. Thank you. 